James Sabowski here for EA Sports. Well, it nearly took a half a century to hoist the cup here in St. Louis, but they certainly have established a winning way now. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. The Blues win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. Kyrou has done it against the boards. Here's a feed in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. The Avs win the defensive zone face-off. Moves it to Rantanen. Look out, here they come on the attack. To his teammate, and a great seed. Here's a chance. Oh, that's right off the mask. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Grabs a hold of the puck. Big time collision there. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. And they'll dump it in. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. And he takes the dish. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Sends it down low. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Receives the pass. Gains the zone through the middle. Oh, look at the pass. Now scores. Kaboom. What a shot. Nobody was stopping that one-timer. I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. Colorado's hard work pays off as they get on the board first here tonight. Yeah, getting on the board first over halfway through the first period. And, you know, there hasn't been much going on here in this game. It's been back and forth, but it's starting to open up with this first goal. Got to hope that there's some more offense in this one. Quick pass to Byram. Break away. Oh, what a save. He stopped it. Wow. Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Saad. Fires it on net and stops that big bomb. Loose puck battle along the boards. Nachuskin's got it in the defensive end. Shot, and that's off the club and will play on. Oh, tremendous save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. impressive save James and I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position it's being desperate it's finding a way to get to the puck keeping your eye on it at all times tracking it out battling and outwilling everyone around you Colorado's high activity in the offensive zone has resulted in them leading here midway through the first the Blues win the draw on their own end Krug's moving the puck through his own zone here's a shot here's a side the slap shot wow from danger. Quick feed to Piranha. Wicked stop by the goaltender. The Blues have it now. Shoots it. Oh, you no respect for your teammates doing that. What a block. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to even, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Way mark of this period, it's all tied up. Colorado's got a hold of the puck off the draw. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Colorado's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Bortuzzo. From the open ice, they gain the line. Hooked away by McCall. And he's taken down the officials are signaling for a penalty. Here comes the sentence. Verona's called for 
for tripping. He's off to the box. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. St. Louis will try to kill a few seconds off this penalty. Gets it out of his own end. With possession along the wall. And that's intercepted by Rantanen. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Knocks the puck down with a stick. And they get the puck out. Puck picked up by Thomas. Turned aside with the glove by Georgiev. Moves it to Makar. Feeds the puck to Johansson. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Slick feed. Shot! Denies him with the pad. There's the whistle. We'll get a reset after the net was knocked off. Buchnevich is recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Avs get a hold of the draw. Drouin's going to play it against the half wall. Fantastic save! Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Buchnevich is taking it from his own end. And the PK unit keeps them in there. Impressive kill keeping this one tied. Specialty teams are so huge in any game, James, especially when it's tied. You don't want to fall behind and have discipline really be a factor in the game. Tries to get it over to Saad. Dishes it to Kapanen. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. Slides it to Colton. Cutting to the slot. Oh, he got cuddled by Bennington. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but... Oh, save on the play! Oh, it's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. Oh, what a stop right there. Keep it a minute. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. In the final moments of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Johansson's won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. Moves the puck to Neighbors. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Comes up with the stop. Handles the pass. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Both teams back on the ice are lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Been a fun one so far. Neither side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Blues have had zero offensive production in this game. They've been on their heels, and really their opponent is taking it to them. The goaltender has been strong, and it's a reason that this game is still tied. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. The Blues will go to work here in the offensive zone. Way too much congestion blocks that. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Moves it on over to Rantanen. Cutting to the front of the net and kept that one out of the net. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Down the left wing, they came the zone. And that's off a stick. Takes the feed. And now he tries to get it across to Drouin. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. The Avs gain control of the puck against the wall. And serves up a little knock on the play. 
and makes the save. And it's a quick pass to Johansson. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Blues win the faceoff. Here's a short pass to Kapanen. Handles it along the blue line. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Nachuskin. Steps inside. Here's a chance to the middle. Can't connect the play. Peddington's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Colton's won the face-off, and now let's see what they can do. Comes up with the steal. And he takes the pass. And that pass is redirected. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Takes possession after that center ice face off. Lays the body into that play. Quick pass to Wood. Stopped by the goaltender. And he slides it quickly to Manson. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. The Avs take possession here in the open ice. Battle along the boards. Excellent stick work on the play. Krug's got it in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Fulton. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Oh, he'll feel all of that after this one. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Puck dumped in, and the forwards go for a change. Scooped up along the wall by Drew. Oh, they score! And that tips by. Hold on here, James. Hold on. This is a high stick. This was disallowed right away. You can see the official wave it off. Yeah. We're going to have to review this to confirm the call. There's multiple layers to this goal. Not only is it tough to bat out of the air, you have to have good sense of timing and hand-eye coordination, but you also have to have an awareness of where that puck is and where you're making contact with it. Because guess what? If it's above the crossbar, this is a no goal. I think the right call was made on that one, and we will continue to play on as both teams are back at center. The Avs win it, and now it's grabbed by Johnson. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Too much traffic in the lane. Battle along the wall, and the puck's booted away. Sends it quickly to Neighbors. The Blues move it in. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Puts it in deep. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Through center along the wing. Along the half wall with the puck. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Transit front! Big save! Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Late goings of this period. The Avs have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Colorado's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Oh, that's a piece of it with the glove. Finnington's been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced in his save percentage is an indicator of it. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Gets it over to Kairou. St. Louis is in the offensive zone. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Taves. Center and feed! And that doesn't go as it's off the stick. Beatington's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Colorado's had one song in their mind all night long. Shot, 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 shot. They continue to lead late in the second. St. Louis has the puck here off the face-off. 
Oh, big time hit him off the wall, and this is why I'm glad I'm up here in the suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there. It's a bone crusher. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack because the third period is just around the corner. <laughs> 40 minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams and we're ready to go. Final frame is underway here. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Blues are behind in this game. They just haven't been on the puck. They haven't had their legs under them. They haven't been urgent, which means they've been chasing the game. Pennington's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident and controlled in the crease. Rontanen's got a great shot, guys, but we know the key to getting it off so accurately is when he's got the puck settled and flat on the ice. That's when he can really use that snipe zone ability to really pick a spot. And now he moves it quickly to Kairou. Sends the pass over. Passes it to Drouin. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. On the attack along the boards. The Avs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Slides it diagonally to McKinnon. Puts it on net. Turned aside by Bennington. And they continue to apply pressure here. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. The Avs take possession in the defensive end. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Avs gain possession. The Blues look to start the transition game. Handles that one. Puck grab by Drouin. Great reach with the stick by Johansson. Moves it to Saad. Here's a shot. Routine save made by Georgiev. Quick pass to Byram. Colorado's got it into the offensive zone. Here's a chance. Denied by the goaltender. Moves the puck over to Saad. Now a quick pass to Kapanen. And he slides it quickly to Pareko. Pushes it across to Krug. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Hayes. Puck scooped up by Saad. Colorado's looking to break out. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Here's a short pass to Tatar. Score! And that's back-to-back -back goals. Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row back-to-back. -back. Here they come. James, this is just an absolute clinic and body position and how to roll off your coverage. And it's perfectly executed as he doesn't have much time to get the one-timer off, but he gets his stick available and he executes. The Avalanche have extended the lead to two and time is of the essence now, Cheryl. Yeah, it's the back half of the third period and this is where you still want to continue to attack, but you have to be aware of your positioning on the ice, in particular when the puck turns over, you want to protect the middle. Woods got it along the board. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Blaine. Moves it around along the half wall. No room for that one to get through. The Blues have it in the offensive end. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. And we've got a fight. Yeah, the physical engagement here has been off the charts, and the discipline has to maintain itself, but a good toe-to-toe -to -toe fight sends a message. kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted and you can see them as they're panting, but what it does mean is that the officials can come in and just break it up. The Blues cheering on their player as he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe in this fight. He's the winner in this one, and it's going to create a lot of adrenaline within this whole building. 
Well, with all that said and done with, we still got a game to play. And face off here set to resume action. Sunfist won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. And now he moves it to Torpchenko. Takes it to the net. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Slides the puck to O'Connor. Torpchenko's been really impressive tonight, in particular on that last play, James. I mean, the wherewithal to keep your eye on the prize, eye on the puck, and just redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's attack mentality, and he has it tonight. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. Strong use of the body. Great poke check on the reach. From off the wall and onto a stick. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Moves the puck. And that pass goes off the stick. Stopped by the goaltender. Taken along the wall by Nachuskin. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Oh, a clutch save! And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Lekkonen's not going to like the call, but the officials see tripping on the play. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start on the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. The Blues have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Craig Reed with the stick. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Centering pass. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. Score! So putting the special in special teams. It's a power play tally. attacker comes on with the goalie out of the net they have the advantage and they use it perfectly they're all over the ice they're all over the puck coverage is running and they bury it the abs been going in one direction all night long and that's to the net and they lead it here late in this third period and they win that neutral zone draw tries to feed it over to Drouin a little bump and grind but still hangs on to the puck and that's knocked away by McCarr. Peddington's made his way quickly to the bench, and the extra attacker is now out on the ice. Quick pass to Saad. And there's the final horn, bringing this one officially to an end. Colorado's quick start. Clearly the difference in this one, Cheryl, as they get all their offense in the first. They get their offense in the first, and then they protect the lead the rest of the way. Sometimes this can bite you and go the other way when you play too defensive, but they play it safe, and they keep the lead. Well, and that brings a fun night of hockey to a conclusion, and we will say goodbye. She's Cheryl Pounder. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us from all of us here at EA Sports. Good night.